Hey there, Physical Conservative. You are asking the YouTube community about their thoughts on the bombings of World War II, and more specifically about Japan. And you bring up Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I'm going to address those two bombings, because they were with nuclear weapons and did a lot of lasting damage. Now, Hiroshima had a population of 300,000 civilians and 43,000 soldiers. Now, the estimated casualties of Hiroshima were 70,000. Now, it killed, it more than likely killed every soldier, but it also killed 27,000 civilians. I don't find that really acceptable. I don't think it's really justified. If we kill every soldier, but we kill some civilians, I, I never think that collateral damage is ever acceptable. Um, it really doesn't justify anything. Oh, we killed all the soldiers, but we killed 23, 27,000 innocent people. And, I mean, there was also another 200, I think, they say that 200,000 of them, uh, wow, I can't find it. Ah, <sighs> shit. Another, I think they said like another 200,000 people died of uh, cancer. Um, I'll post a link to this uh, site so that way you can read my information. This is a, uh, it's cfo.doe.gov. I, I don't know what the hell that is, but um, let's go to um, Nagasaki. Now, Nagasaki, um, if I can find the populations. Uh, God damn it. I mean, Nagasaki was, um, like, it was like 40 some square miles. For, I think it was 43 square miles. Um, and I mean, the best estimate of the people who died instantly from the initial blast was 40,000. Um, and then there were 60,000 more that were injured. Um, and by January 1946, the number of deaths probably reached uh, 70,000. And again, are you really willing? <laughs> it was, I, I, I mean, that's a lot of civilians and soldiers dead. But I mean, do, is that really a fair ratio? I mean, I don't think any civilian should die. But <laughs> I, that's not that, that can never be. You can never really justify it. I mean, it was a different time. But I guess the U.S. government said that those kind of casualties were justifiable. But, I mean, it, it's not justifiable to me. But, I'm, I mean, there's a lot of good that came out of this. I mean, the birth of Anna May came out of this. Um... And if you want to read about how the bombings actually just, like, not justified, but um, created sort of the anime industry, go read Japan America. It, it does, it gives you a long history of anime, and it talks about the creator of anime, Asama Tezuka, and um, it gives you a bunch of an uh, information, and it talks about, that's why you see a lot of apocalyptic imagery in anime, because they did. Japan survived an apocalyptic event not once but twice. Um, but I mean, I can never really, I can never feel right about that. I mean, that's almost a hundred, hundred thirty. Uh, that, that's over like a hundred thousand people who have died, who are probably civilians. I mean, that's not really. I, I can never feel good about that. But, I mean, I sort of do agree with you, though, that it saved a lot more civilian lives than if we continued to fight. But you have to take into account the reason why the Japanese were fighting so fervently is because of state-sponsored sh uh, Shinto, which got the soldiers and people pumped up. And the government knew that, and that's what they used. And that's why so many people sacrificed their, their lives for that country. 
It's because of state-sponsored Shinto and the manipulation of the government. But who's to say? Who are we to judge history? Um, different time, different place, different circumstances. But I mean, would you ever justify using a nuclear bomb in this time? I I don't think so. But who's to know? But uh, this has been Resonator's End, and that has been my um, thoughts on the morality of dropping the two bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And before I actually go, I want to say that everybody should go see Graves, Grave of the Fireflies. It's a good anime movie that um, talks about the end of... It, it, it takes place during the end of the um, World War in Japan. And um, I personally want to see it. it. I mean, it's from 1988, and I, I really want to say it, see it. So I think everybody should go see it to give them, I guess, some perspective. And peace out. And once again, peace, love, harmony, and never forget those who were lost during World War II and all the wars allies and enemies. Peace out.